President Hendon, the greatest quarterback in the history of the NFL. How are you? How are you? It's nice to see you. This is, this, is, this is my best. How are you? Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. You got the your head, Jack. You weren't there. No, I saw a side of it. He went yeah. south with us just the other day. I was day. up at his retirement dinner, and he said uh, he's 25 golfer. years in Coast Guard. You're not a golfer, right? I'm, well, I could play around a little bit. Oh, I know. <laughs> no, no. Yes. No, no. no. The other way. Yeah. He said he never met you, and I wanted him to. Oh, okay. Well, very good friend of mine, of course, Don Buff, Dr. Don Buffman. Dr. Don Buffman. Takes care of you. <coughs> my, my yes. Yeah. Your body yeah. body and so forth. Yes, he just came back. Uh, he retires in November. Twenty-five years. Oh, uh, Coast Guard. Yeah. You know the funny thing is, yeah, I never met the president, his commander in chief. So I knew Justin in all these later years, and very close friends and all. But the first time I ever saw him, I was a member of a high school football team, and on the open date that we had, our coach took us into. Evans to me, and I saw Justin Dart. Are you playing with that video? Really? Yes. Uh, to remind him that you're the Oh, yes. Yes, I did. Yeah. I, I spent the night at his house one time, and I was in the camp, and uh, it, it gives you nightmares because uh, every football that ever was a Cleveland Brown championship is on his uh, wall. They won 10 division championships in 10 years. He was all pro quarterback nine out of 10 years, and they won the NFL championship seven years, so. He, he had the tendency to exaggerate. You know, no, that is not true. <laughs> I felt like I was sleeping at the Hall of Fame in Canton, Ohio, George. That's great. That's good. But he's, he's a neat you guy. Good. Great yeah, honor. I feel good, good. thank you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Good. Good. You're gonna come back next year to the boogie bus. Well, I may next year. I couldn't do it this year. Yeah, yeah. Things are a little busy. I'd have some. You gotta get your priorities straight. Yeah, you know? that's, that's for <laughs> sure. That's for <laughs> sure. A story that is appropriate for you two here. Okay. Uh, years ago, Bob Zucky, the coach of Illinois, yeah. you know, Bob was also a great painter. He loved yeah. to paint. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, yeah. one night, maybe it was for a Northwestern game, but it could have been the University of Chicago this time, in a hotel on the boulevard in Chicago. And I'm trying to remember the position, but it was, I think a lineman. But uh, a good football player had been, and uh, uh, he was in the room with them. There were some people visiting there, and he and Zupke were standing at a window and looking out, and he remarked about it to Zupke. He said, look, isn't that a beautiful view? He says, it's, it's like a thing and everything. And Bob Zupke says to him, you play whatever it was, guard or tackle or whatever. He says, you're smart enough to be a quarterback. In the presence of two quarterbacks. I gotta ask you a question. When, when are you gonna show me? <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Seriously, I mean, you're seven seven days in shape. Seventy three. Yeah. How are you doing? Great shape. Well, for one thing, he hit Is George Allen got to doing push ups or something? <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. I got a little gym up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You can sort of hypnotize yourself too. What you start doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put yeah. 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 a bag. Uh, 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 take a little to the right. Why don't you give some push? Why don't you give some push to do it? I've right. seen push that ball. They don't go very straight in. Do you know he was all American basketball as well as football? And a tie bar. I played for the Rochester. I'm retired. 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 I'm Mr. President, Otto is a real patriot. He loves this country and loves the service, loves uh, what you're doing, and I just, I'm glad you can get together. Uh, I admire him more than any other quarterback in the history of pro football. We can put exactly. Well, no, I'm serious. But you're a great patriot. Real pleasure. He's retiring in November from 25 years in the Coast Guard, so I'm probably not being the commander in chief. Thank you very much. Keep it up. Okay. You will. I know, I'm not worried about that. Hustler, <laughs> the end date. Do you feel it next year? Okay, okay. Uh, okay. Thank you. Okay. Mr. Winskater, come on. Nice to see you. How are you, Matt? So good. Thank you for what you've done for the Oh, good. Oh, good. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hi. How are you? Great. Thank you, Ingram, my staff. Turn right around this way. Yeah. 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 Thank you for being with us. Slot your minutes. We climb American flags.
Thank you. Hey, Mac. How are you doing? Good. Just fine. Nice to see you. These are great people. They have got more enthusiasm uh, on this project, uh, naming this week. And it's the, not the same name as me. Oh, it's just mother. That's right. The mother's like the father's guy. Anybody else? It's the same thing. Yeah, right. We've gotten a lot of feedback before, so we want to thank you for it. what you've done. Um, and I'll talk about the work you've done for the National Center of Missing and Destroyed yeah. Children. We're part of that, too. And uh, I'm a director in that national center, and we'd like to invite you down to open the conference in part on the third of uh, September. Yeah, I'm now. I'm just trying to think whether I've been told already that there's some reason. I would like to very much. They sort of mentioned it to us. You know, that's the one thing. I may sit over at that desk, but they got some people hidden away here that for both of us, put a thing in front of us that tells us what we're going to be doing every 15 minutes. And they know, people say to me, uh, say Friday or do something. And uh, I can't answer, but there's somebody else who knows. <laughs> well, uh, we'd uh, you know, like to extend that to an invitation if you can make it understand. Mm -hmm. I'll you see that they know about it. <laughs> <laughs>